What's going on guys, it is your boy El Parcero Philly and this is a quick breaking news emergency video here to talk about the Philadelphia Flyers. As we just realized, as we just found out, the Flyers and Capitals that was originally scheduled for tonight, the 21st at 7.30 has officially been postponed after the Washington Capitals canceled their morning skate with two players been called into the COVID protocol, which left them shorthanded. And as we've seen throughout the NHL, this COVID outbreak has really hit the NHL really bad. And now the Philadelphia Flyers will be, <laughs> we won't see the Flyers for nine days. For nine days, we will not see the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, and it's part of what's going on right now. The situation is surreal. COVID is hitting all these leagues. We've seen it happen a lot here in Philly sports. Of, of course, the Eagles are, that's why I'm dressed in Eagles attire. We were scheduled to have a Philly sports doubleheader. Eagles were supposed to be playing the Washington football, or they were supposed to play the Washington football team on Sunday at one o'clock. That got moved to Tuesday uh, tonight at seven o'clock. So we all know what happened with the Union or a couple about a month ago now in the Eastern Conference Finals. We all know what happened with the Sixers a couple months ago. So for Philly sports, we are kind of now being numb to these COVID situations. And now the Flyers, we will be without them for about a week and a half now. It is so real. Uh, real quick, guys, before we move forward, real, if you guys are tuning into this for the first time, just do me that solid and hit that like button and subscribe. Join on into this family. We do talk Philly sports all the damn time from the Flyers, Sixers, Eagles, Phillies, and Union. So make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you join on in to DSM Media as well as we are part of that family as well. I will leave the link in the descriptions below so you guys can check that out. But um, yeah, this is pretty surreal. Flyers right now, if I'm not mistaken, have three players, two coaches in the COVID protocol. There are a lot of teams that got hit a lot harder than the Flyers have had with COVID. Uh, and I feel like earlier this sh in, in 2021, I'm dating back to last season, 2020-2021 season, the Flyers got hit really bad with COVID. We all remember the Lake Tahoe situation. The NHL did not reschedule that game, and we got absolutely massacred uh, against the Boston Bruins up in Lake Tahoe. Um, and now the NHL with this whole... Omicron uh, outbreak that's been going on nationwide. Uh, the NHL made, a, I, in my opinion, a, a solid decision. It, I don't think it's enough days, but we are stopping play for about five days. Um, so from tonight, I guess, I guess not tonight, but it was gonna it was gonna start tomorrow. From the 22nd until the 26th, there was gonna be no NHL hockey. Teams were to quarantine essentially, stay um, inside, stay away from people take care of themselves, and then uh, report back to duty on the 26th. At that point, players would do their COVID tests and get back to practice, get back into action, get back into the groove of the season. But <clears throat> for the Philadelphia Flyers, that now has been escalated a day earlier as we will now be waiting, uh, we'll be waiting until the 29th when we go up to Seattle to face off against the Kraken. I believe we faced the Kraken and the Knights. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think it's the Knights because we already played the Knights. I'm, miss, I'm blanking on the top of my head here, but uh, the Sharks. It's the Sharks, the Kraken and the Sharks. But um, this is a bummer. You know, when we look at the overall picture here for the Flyers, um, you know, they were kind of, Mike Yo's starting to kind of figure it out with his team. His team has looked a lot better since the 10-game losing streak, which led to Alain Vigneault's firing. So this this situation kind of comes at a in. Uh, inconvenient time for the Flyers who are starting to figure it out. You know, coming off of a big 4-3 win in overtime against the Ottawa Senators, this team offensively has looked much more cleaner, I will say. The possession with this hockey team has looked better, which has alleviated pressure off their defense. Carter Hart actually missed that game on Saturday, which we saw Martin Jones and Felix Sandstrom came up with, the, with Philadelphia. He got sent back down. Carter Hart is fine, which is good news. Um, but this definitely does uh, affect the rhythm that the Flyers were kind of on. And now we'll, we'll see how they look coming back. Maybe this is actually a good thing. Um, Mike Yo needs to kind of implement his, his system, his philosophies, his style on this team. He's had a maybe a couple practices, uh, including a morning skate this morning that led to no game here tonight uh, on Tuesday night. But um, overall, I mean, this kind of does affect the rhythm of the Flyers when we look at a bigger picture. Uh, and, of course... I'm curious to see now, I mean, bigger picture when we look at the bigger landscape of sports. I'm curious whether the NFL, who also has been getting hit really hard, obviously birds game day on a Tuesday is not natural, um, and maybe take a page out of this. We'll see how we come back into play after the 26th. Do teams start getting hit with COVID again? 
and it's, it's an experiment that I think a lot of teams should be looking at. I know Adam Silver with the NBA has already stated that the NBA is not planning on doing a, a pause whatsoever. You know, do you know, do as you please. You, you, you know your league better than others, so you do what you feels is best for your league. But I think for Bettman in the NHL, this was definitely the right move here. Flyers have been blessed. Not going to hold that. They haven't been hit really hard with COVID thus far in 2021, 2022. But it is, it is the reality of life right now. I mean, even for myself... Um, you know, being worried that, you know, I was at a wedding on Saturday, tried to mask up as much as I can. And, you know, I understand that some people don't take this as serious as others. And for myself, I don't really care if I do get COVID. I just more concerned about the uh, people around me. I don't want to get anyone sick. I don't want anyone to be affected by this if it's coming under my behalf. So um, it, it is definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a real situation, guys. It's more than just sports. It's people's livelihoods here. I obviously, I'm going to miss Flyers hockey. Like, dude, we're not going to see Flyers hockey till the 29th, and Flyers hockey started to get better, and we're not going to be able to watch it for a while. So it is, it definitely does suck. But yeah, just to recap here today, Flyers hockey postponed here tonight. We will be without them now for uh, I'm 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 mistaken. I think it's eight. It's eight days. I'm mistaken. So from the 21st to the 29th, eight days. Um, obviously, the NHL doing their whole holiday break. They're calling it a holiday break. So there's going to be no hockey for a while. And then for Flyers, for the Flyers in general, I think the main thing that we should be really be concerning and worrying about is if the Flyers can keep the rhythm that they are on. I personally believe they can. I think this is actually going to help Mike Yo and these guys get fully healthy, get ready, and hopefully they can go on a little bit of a run. But after t- uh, tonight, guys, quick heads up. We will be at, we'll be at it. Of course, Eagles game day still, so we have the recap going for the birds after the Washington football team game. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel so you guys can check that out. I will have a, we'll have a preview out in a little bit. We're going to go live. We're going to be talking about it. So once this goes up, we'll definitely be talking about that. But guys, uh, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. For my Flyers fans, I'm with you. We'll, we'll try to find a way to, to get some content going so we can keep the Flyers juices going. Make sure you guys are subscribed or follow to my TikTok as well as we do a lot of Flyers content there as well. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I go by name El Parcero Philly, and I'm telling you guys, let's go Flyers. We'll be back soon. We'll be back.